Hey, this is James with Feng Office, and I wanted to make a real short video on how you customize dimensions in your Feng Office trial. So what I have here is a trial that I've just kicked off, and you can see uh, the dimensions are here on the left-hand side of this navigation pane. Right now, I only have clients and projects uh, listed here. So the first thing I want to do is to make the other dimensions available for me to customize. And to do that, I'm going to go into my system modules. And the first thing I'll see in this list of modules, uh, these represent the tabs at the top and the order they come in. And um, you can see here that I can easily move them around and this will change the order when I save it. But what I'm more concerned with right here are the dimensions at the bottom. So in the trial, you have three dimensions available, clients and projects, workspaces, and tags. And I'm gonna check these off so that they've come available to me. And then I wanna make sure I apply the changes. And now here on the left, you can see that all three are available. Workspaces uh, by default popped up, but I can check tags too. And now I have these additional dimensions available to me. But what I want to do is I want to customize them to my workspace. So I go back into settings. This time I'm going to click on dimension options. And here I have the availability to change the name uh, and to do some other things. But First, you know, let's say I don't work with clients. I only work with projects, and so I only really care about projects. So I'm just going to name this projects. Uh, workspaces I like, so I'm going to leave it. But I want to use this dimension. Instead of using tags, I think what's more important to me are stages of my pro of a process. So I'm going to uh, apply up stages to my tasks. Um, I can disable client here, so that way I'm not able to create a client in this dimension here. And then I'm going to ignore the other dimension options for now, just to uh, quickly show you how to do this. Okay, so here you go. So now the tags has been changed to stages. And fundamentally, the difference between the dimension tags and the dimension workspaces is that workspaces allow me to create a hierarchy, whereas tags do not. They are uh, independent, and you can't create them underneath one another. So let me start with my stages of my process. So I'm going to create a new stage here. Uh, give it a color so it's easy to reference when I'm, when I'm looking at it. And I'll create a second stage as well. OK. So now I have my stages. And let's say I also want to create the workspaces. And here I'll show you I can create sub workspaces as well. And you can see here located under, that's going to put this workspace underneath finance. Okay. So click on home to remove all the filters. And now I'm going to generate a task. And you can see here, if I want to assign it a stage, I'll give it a stage one. I'll give it a due date. Add my task. Now you can see that this task has been completed, and this dimension, which I'm using as stages in a process now, is tied. So that's it. Any questions, please drop us a note. Thank you.